Dennis. Dennis. What happened? Who? Is that how I got blood on me? Did I? this, Sam, when you f think through any problem. You got this. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it. Think about that. Don't let it in. Keep going. You got this. Keep going. You got this. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it. This is Dennis's office. There must be some clues around. <laughs> Sam, keep it together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? Some IT documents. Nothing useful. Blood all over the monitor. Not much to go on. I need something useful. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun.
There's nothing useful in those drawers. Dennis had his gun on him at the wake. The bullet stopped here, small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. Sam, stop it! Come to reality! But I... I... You didn't do anything! Dennis was already dead when you arrived, can't you see? Dennis shot, and you don't even own a gun. How could you have done it? All you did was move his body, which is how your shirt got stained. Think about it, Sam. Calm down and think! You're right. I can see it. I have a complete picture now. Blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled in my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. The puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. 
Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. And Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. You didn't deserve this. No one deserves this. There's a lot of junk in here, but none of it is useful to me. Walter always treated us like family. something around here that hints at Walter's password. Hopefully his password reminder isn't some esoteric book reference. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Walter was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. Walter's desk is just like him. Big and full of mystery. Is Granddad Rock a thing? If so, Walter and Anna are both into it. Good for Walter that Judith is doing all right. She means the world to him. So much so that she could be his password. I can't imagine Walter getting a suntan at the beach. He can't stay still. Prynne never looked happy a day in her life. Been Walter's cat for years. Maybe he set her name as his password. Keep looking. That's not it. I have to keep looking. I can't imagine Walter getting a suntan at the beach. He can't stay still. That was just after Anna came on, and we really were a small clan. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. See what secrets you got in here, Walter. A 
mostly standard so far, by the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. And he always kept his window open. The car really burned. Though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. I think it's time I check Nick's office. Hope he's his notes out. Get in here. Valid question. Still not sure. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. Nick's computer is missing. He took it home to work, or... stolen. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Nick, Anna, and me. Nick wouldn't mind if I kept this, for old time's sake. It was a good guess, just not the right one. I should keep looking. Four digits. Wonder if that's the new code for the archives. Thanks, bug. Your obsessive snooping pays off. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessed. Be so little information regarding his last investigation. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big.
Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. But what was he looking for? What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We shot out of town immediately. Dennis tried to talk to me about Nick, and that's what got him killed. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, I is listen he... to me. You need to be here with me and listen to what I have to say. Oh my god, no! It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Your bloody shirt was clearly from this. That means you were here yesterday. It links you to the crime scene. And you've been running around town all morning asking about Dennis. It won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did at first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is going to find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient, and possibly friendless. You've already trusted Anna once. I suggest you keep on that road. Okay. But not that phone. Use one of the landlines here, and don't leave your name. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. I'm going with you. I don't know if that's a good idea. You trusted me before. It's only fair I do the same for you. I'll call the cops from here so they can't track us. All right. Here we are. <laughs> Barely looks like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to... Sure. I doubt I'll be good company anyway. 